Hey everyone, this is Chad from Anderson Plumbing. We're going to do a little video of our uh, drain cleaning trailer and our uh, van setup here. Uh, just do a little walkthrough. So, uh, anyway, this is one of our trucks here. Got, a, got my own personal truck over there, all logoed up. This is our, uh, it's our trailer. Got all of our drain cleaning stuff in here. Got a Jetters Northwest Brute Jetter, 300 foot reel on it, uh, 3 8 toes. It's propane powered, so we've got uh, two propane tanks on the front and uh, runs uh, eight and a half gallons a minute, 3600 PSI. We've got a 300, sorry, uh, no, it's 200 feet of three quarter inch fill hose on its own reel there. We've got uh, all of our different nozzles and all that stuff in this case here. If you see this black line on the door, that's uh, that's Linex halfway up the door. The whole inside of the trailer is coated in Linex. It's pretty cool. Um, We'll walk around the side here and I'll show you a few more things in here. We've got all of our drum machines here. We've got a one we got two one hundreds, three hundred, two thousand one for opening up uh, all those drains you can't start off with a jetter. We've got uh, a couple measuring wheels just to see how far it is out to the sewer, stuff like that. Some extra leader leads and all that stuff. Got some drum holders for one hundred, three hundred. In case we uh, either need to switch drums for a different size cable for the 100 or on the 300 if we need to go out a little bit further we can just pop that drum off and pop another one on there and keep going. Got uh, 200 foot sea snake. And then uh, we've got a remote reel for our jetters, 200 feet on that. Got our locator. Got our uh, small reel for, for doing kitchens. It's a small braided hose, I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, that works pretty nice for cleaning out kitchen sinks and stuff like that. Got our small camera there for uh, inspecting kitchen lines and things like that. So when we put that on the wall backwards, it fits kind of funny that way. But uh, the milk crate keeps our uh, CS10 monitor in place there so it doesn't get banged up and slide around the trailer. Got a 65 gallon storage tank for running the jetter. Our fill reel fills up the tank. Um, so we're running off of that. Um, Get some pretty good jetting times out of it, even with a warthog on there. Um, you know, if we're filling at the same time, you can pretty much, in a house, just keep on running, you know, because you're starting and stopping, positioning, and things like that. So, works out pretty nice. But, uh, got a couple of PVC pipes on the wall here. That's for getting started in some in manholes and stuff like that. If you got a manhole that's plugged, you know, lines plugged outside of a manhole and you can't get the can't find the, the pipe leading out of it you can get the get that down in there and shove the jetter head down there and get going got pressure washing wands and manhole hooks and stuff like that extra tanks for the front of the trailer in case we run out of propane we can switch to another tank also propane um, we've got a propane heater up here in uh, Chicago area it gets uh, gets pretty cold in the winter so uh, you know we're driving around it's two degrees outside we don't want anything freezing in here so we can fire that up and keep it kind of warm in here. We got some shop vac hoses hanging on the wall there. We got a shop vac. Um, we always keep a shop vac in here in case uh, in case you need to find a branch or something like that in a line that's filled up with sewage. You can suck the sewage out if you need to and you know haul it outside or whatever. We got a transfer pump. We can pump it out of there, out of the house or something like that. We've had to do that several times. Got a foot pedal there. Hardly ever gets used because we usually run two guys on a truck. So. Uh, Somebody can operate a valve while the other one's jetting. A um, couple tires here, <laughs> kind of funny those in here. One of them's got a uh, 50 foot coat cable in it, half inch, I don't know what the metric equivalent is, but it's like a half inch size. Um, so we've run that. Um, the other tire's got 0.66 and 0.55 cable in it, in case we need to go out further with the 2001 or the 300, we've got 50 feet of extra cable in those. Um, but I think that's about it. Just got bucket here with some rags and extra foot pedals and things like that. Oh, we also keep a generator in here. Um, we got caught on a job one time where we lost power. Had an apartment building that was backed up. So uh, it was nice to be able to uh, fire up the generator and keep on rotting and not have to worry about, you know, waiting for the power to come back on. The shelf up here had our, all of our extra little tools and cutters and all that stuff on the shelf there. Got some cones to put around the trailer, gloves. So that's pretty much the, the full tour of the, the Anderson Plumbing drain cleaning trailer. Thanks.